Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Furman Mini in Palm Harbor, Florida, because guess what? We have it. This is the all new 2020 John Cooper Works Clubman, and this is the fastest Mini ever produced to date from the factory for the street. Let's talk a little bit about Mini. Mini's been around, guess what? They're celebrating their 60th anniversary with this 2020 and that's why they wanted to bring some extra extra magic to the john cooper works it has over 70 more horsepower than last year's model so my heart really goes out to you if you are sitting there watching radies rise right now and you bought a 2019 john cooper works clubman i feel your pain looking at this there's some updates aesthetically for the 2020 but really the bottom line is all wheel drive more horsepower faster performance let's go ahead and dive into this mini john cooper works clubman right off the bat you'll see some changes all new headlight design keeps that original flavor but really just bringing a little bit more obviously full led daytime running lamp and headlamp as well i love the black trim ring around and remember when you pop the bonnet or hood this whole portion is going to go up as we drop down a little bit of gloss black functional air vents. I'm digging it. John Cooper Works, those minis that won so many Monte Carlo rallies, so many stage wins, rally wins, and everything else, that DNA is definitely in this 2020. Now, if you notice, you'll see the extension on the John Cooper Works, the extension of the lower lip spoiler or splitter that's going to produce extra downforce and direct air up and not underneath. As we come across the front, I love the way that they shape the current mini design of the front grille. Now, if you notice, you do have the cross beam right here. That's why this is all blocked off, but the other areas for the most part are gonna be functional. As you drop down, I'm really loving this section of the lower lip spoiler. So wide, and you can see lurking behind there, the intercooler, this is a two liter turbocharged intercooled engine, produced downforce, force feed air from one side to the other, just really, straight up rally car now my biggest zonk is going to be i wish they would have blacked out the mini logo sort of like on the knights edition from 2019 and then this guy right here this is non-functional for a john cooper works that thing should be functional so that is a zonk but the color dead on i love it and another thing with the grill is remember this red trim is specific to the john cooper works just to give you a little intel on that now when we hop up onto the hood the ceramic gray color i love the bright red racing stripes another thing you'll notice is that you see that chrome trim at the back of the hood that actually goes around the whole circumference of the mini nice touch and it goes back i don't care what year mini you're looking at it has that design element when we come around the bend you can see how the extension of that front fascia helps ram air into the, those intakes nice flat black around the wheel opening these are the optional standard this comes with an 18 inch wheel this is the optional 19 inch wheel love the machined metal aluminum the gloss black there's our john cooper works with just a little bit of red trim around it and then check out those massive four piston calipers that also have the john cooper works logo on it if you're wondering well are those brake rotors bigger or is it just the calipers calipers are about a mid-grade ronald mcdonald shoe size those rotors are 14.1 inches those are massive rotors on a car this size tire setup 235 on the width and then when you're looking at that sidewall it's a 35 series on the sidewall look sharp with this john cooper works as we go from the bonnet into the fender love the badging so classic so iconic with your marker light lurking behind i think it's so smart the way that they went with the red mirror colors to match the stripes this is a new mirror design if you notice they kind of went away from that jelly bean shape they gave it a little bit of a nice line to it. Blackout on the eight pillars. I'm sure Tom already showed you this, but I'll point out again that all four, this has the all four all wheel drive system to get the power to the ground. The great news is, is that you actually have a mechanically locking diff up front and it could transfer torque 50-50 between the front and the back of the car. As we go down the side, you see that bright red roof I like the slim and trim, very low roof rails. And then this one has a nice, large panoramic sunroof. I think styling wise, Mini does such a great job 
getting the colors. Especially down low, I think this belt line stripe is very sharp. And I'm gonna have Tom kind of swing around and show you the nice flared out fender and vent that you have to channel that air down the side of the car. Functional, those are things that we like to look for as enthusiasts. Back into the rear wheel section, up to the quarter window, the lines just scream Mini all day long. Yes, I know BMW owns Mini. They still come from England, guys. So if it wasn't for BMW, who knows if Mini would even be in existence. I'm glad that th it's here. You look at the roof spoiler, the John Cooper Works has an additional section here that lifts up, gives it down for us. Very nice. Look at how they just blend that third brake light. And this being the Clubman has those swinging doors. So you're going to push and it has a nice hydraulic sense to it. And then when you want to close it up, we're not ready to show yet. So no peekaboo or anything like that. Very, very clean. Another thing I want to show you is that when you get on the brake light, full LED lights, you're going to get a section of the Union Jack. Remember, that's the British flag. We come down. You do have a fake vent here, but it looks good. So I'm only going to give it a half zonk. This has that active exhaust. I don't know if Tom could use his famous skills, but you could see how the baffle is closed in there. You could open it up and let this Clubman John Cooper work sing. Love the rear diffuser, but really spot on. As you can see, the door wanted, it wants you to see, but we're not ready yet. So we're just going to keep that closed and hopefully it doesn't hit me in the face. But let's go ahead and pop the bonnet and see what's underneath that hood. All right, guys, the hood is popped, or I should say bonnet, excuse me. I take it back. Don't send any hate mail. You can see, like I was telling you, those openings for the headlights underneath the bonnet, though. First off, I want to point out this car, being a John Cooper Works, has extra bracing. So you have this massive strut tower brace. There's also bracing all along the frame as well to stiffen it up. What you're looking at underneath all the plastic is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder putting out 301 horsepower, 331 pound feet of torque. Just to let you know, like I said earlier, that's 73 more horsepower than last year. It's all mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. We're still waiting on if we are going to get a manual. Weight, 3,400 pounds. Like I said earlier, that 50 50 split, many is saying zero to 60 in about 4.6 seconds, top speed 150 miles an hour. That makes this the fastest Mini ever produced. Lots of extra cooling. So it's not just about the more horsepower, you're going to get extra cooling, especially that transmission cooler as well. And you're going to get um, adaptive shocks. So they recalibrated the whole adaptive shocks to give you not only that ride that's going to allow you to cut those corners and just carve them perfectly, but it's going to allow you to also have a great ride to daily drive this thing. Because that's the best thing about this Mini John Cooper Works. It's a car you could drive and enjoy every single day. Now, from a zonk standpoint, where I'm zonking is the engine cover. This being a special car, the fastest John Cooper works. We're celebrating the 60th anniversary. I would like a little sexier engine cover than the standard one that's on here. But let's go ahead, fire this up, and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 John Cooper Works. Really just, like I said, bringing that extra power. I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, Joe, that thing looks like it's gonna handle as if it's on rails. It's got the power, it's got the performance, it's got the style, how much? This one, the way it's optioned is right around $47,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, I like what they did to the door panels to not make them so drowned in black material. You got some flat silver there. I like the shiny chrome bits around the speaker grill area, and even that C-shaped handle to open up the door. Nicely designed, large pocket down low. You could put your drink. If you're doing a rally stage, you could have your rally map in there. Come to the dash, soft material. I really am digging the shape of the air vents. Even this material here, I'm glad they didn't go with a faux carbon fiber. They went with this material just to really spruce it up. It has the optional Harman Kardon sound system. This is a over six inch touch screen. You could either touch the screen or you could use the uh, BMW style iDrive uh, connector knob, but you could get in here, change up your things with your navigation and whatnot. It also has different modes. So you could put it in sport. It's going to open that exhaust, adjust the uh, dampers, or we could go into a mid setting. 
or we could go into a green setting. So I'm going back to sport. That's really what this car is all about. Flat black, but you know what? It's soft material. That's a really good sign right here. Little bit of gloss, and then you're gonna get your rally style switch gear to start and stop the vehicle. Um, you got your mode selector switch here, dual climate control, which is a really nice touch. And look at this, it's, it's just little things like this that really make this car special with the lighting and you know just by adjusting the blower uh, fan switch it's going to adjust that uh, led lighting and stuff little touches nice little pocket area i am going to zonk it i would like to see wireless charging at forty-seven thousand dollars. so that is a zonk you do get a usb and if you pull this plug out there's a 12 volt right there two cup holders and then here's the eight speed automatic transmission very stylish shifter it looks like it's right out of a bmw uh, made by that German company ZF. You got the leather boot with the stitching, but I would like to see a manual. Here's that iDrive style controller. You could control whatever you want to, uh, to on that navigation. Electric e-brake, little bit of gloss black, but it's flat black everywhere else. Not too bad of an armrest. It could be a little softer. You open it up, you got a place for your phone to go, and then you lift that up, and then there's another cubby in there with a USB-C. You could also put two bananas successfully or why don't you just go all the way and just put about four Twinkies in there and you're good to go. Seats, love them. John Cooper Works, Alcantara. Cloth on the sides, which is a zonk to me, but you do get a little bit of leather on the inside. I wish they would have made the whole bolster, and I think you would agree with me, leather. But you do have the hamstring extension for your bottom part of your uh, legs, but very nice stitch work and very comfortable, very supportive without squeezing you. That panoramic sunroof, one for you, one for them. Everybody's happy with their vitamin D. You got your auto dimming mirror with a compass in there, and then you have all your controls for those sunroof. Very, very similar to the switch gear down there. It's, it's like a rally car look to it. But why don't you get on over to the business end, because this is my favorite part of the interior of the car. All right, guys, here we are, John Cooper Works. I like on the lower sill, you get the badging down here. You're also gonna get those nice aluminum pedals. Very nice style very large um, uh, dead pedal, which is really great. And then this steering wheel is a piece of heaven. Love the stitch work. I love how it's two pieces of leather stitched together with the red contrast stitching all the way around. John Cooper works, nice horn button, flat black on the buttons, and then you have these large paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight-speed automatic. There's your gauge instrumentation. It looks like it's straight out of a rally car. Um, very simplistic on the details underneath, but you got an analog speedometer, analog tack, you got your digital bar fuel gauge, and you have a heads up display. I just wish that the center one was a tachometer, at least on the John Cooper works. My other zonk is that at $47,000, you're going to be manually controlling your own seat. I would like to see electric assist, at least for the driver, but really for both. If you go the optional route and get full leather, it does come with full uh, electric assist. But why don't we get to that back seat and see how usable this Clubman is for your family. All right, guys, back seat time. This is the thing I love about these minis is that even though they look small on the outside, they really engineer lots of room. Six feet tall, just like up front. I got plenty of headroom. I also really dig the way the seat is, looks like a one-piece race seat. Now, I don't like this plastic material that you're gonna stare at if you're a passenger, but I do like the leather. You get a nice size pocket for both sides, which is nice to see. And then you're gonna get rear AC and two USB-C ports, gonna give you keep you cool, but it's also gonna help keep you charged as well. We lift down the armrest, it's at a good height. Where are the cup holders? Boom, there they are, one, two, buckle your shoe. Three, four, let's go check out the cargo floor. All right, guys, time to open up that back area like we showed you earlier. You just press the button, and I really like the way they just, bam, open up. Look at all that room, even with the seats up. Obviously, those seats are going to do the 60-40 split. I like the way there's a little pocket on each side to store for some smaller things. You got some nice LED lighting. And then, of course, you could drop these seats by just lifting on that lever, and they drop down. Let me go ahead and hit the other side just to give you the full detail of how much room. Look at that. Not totally flat, but still pretty good. That's what makes this Mini so versatile is the way that you could use this to just do about anything. Let's do what it was really intended for. Let's go see what it's like with 301 horsepower. All right, guys, we just left Furman Mini. We're in the 2020 
John Cooper Works Clubman. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we are in sport mode, which we are. That's gonna change the parameters of how the engine delivers power, the weight of the steering, and like I said, those adaptive dampers at all four corners. Very, very smooth. I'm still wishing that this had an extra third pedal uh, to make it be a manual, but for, for right now, an eight-speed automatic is the only transmission available. I'm kind of surprised it didn't go with the seven-speed DCT that is in the 2020 Clubman for the first time. But one thing for sure, I love the way these drive. They feel like they're ready to rock and roll at any given moment, especially in the handling department, but very, very smooth. I like the deliberate shifts um, as the automatic just does its job. Visibility is great in here. You would think that being in such a small car, it'd be hard to see out of. Front is great. Obviously, I think the big the big problem is, is and there's really no way around it, is that the Clubman with those split doors, it's sort of like looking out of a split window Corvette, like a 63 split window, because you have the, obviously where the doors meet, there's a thick bar there. But other than that, visibility is great in here, especially with the new revised mirror design. But on throttle, automatic mode, said you know zero to 60 about 4.6 seconds um i do like the growl coming from the front and the back of the car you're getting some intake noise you're getting some turbo noise but you're also getting some noise out the back i'm gonna go ahead and put it into manual mode so to do that you just slide the shifter over to the left where um it says ms for manual shift that now has a bright green light lit up and i'm gonna go ahead and get on throttle you do have a gear indicator on the instrumentation. So right now I'm in fourth, downshift to third, downshift to second. Very nice. On the brakes, remember those beefed up calipers and rotors in this right hand bend on acceleration, that all wheel drive keeping us planted. Boy, when you shift, it's like so, so deliberate, so deliberate and you really feel each gear it's very nice and solid steering wheel is so great to hold on to and really these seats are the perfect balance of having the bolstering to where you can really turn up the wick but also being comfortable to where you're not going to be in pain 24 7. You guys acceleration test second gear on throttle heads up display real easy to see your speed it tells you what the posted speed limit is as well. Every time it shifts, it feels like you're just, it's like a, like a horse kicking it or something. It's really a very deliberate shift, but it feels good. Still wishing for the manual, but overall the way it drives and everything is really great. Even in this traffic, it's super smooth and comfortable overall. And the steering, you, you feel like you're ready to just start, you know, cornering like you're on rails at any moment. The problem is, living in this area, especially this time, there's not a lot of corners to really be carving right now. All right, guys, we're gonna see how this high-speed handle feels in this John Cougar's loving the sound. Really, really nice, though. The handling is really spot-on. Brakes feel great. Downshifting with the paddles, super smooth right hand bend here very nice on throttle real i'm telling you the shifts are so deliberate in this thing on the brakes down shift really nice look at this all-wheel drive doing the business that felt good that felt really good really nice i i, I really feel that this car is so balanced it really is just so balanced i'm gonna make a quick u-turn so we can see what the turning radius is like remember those brakes 14 inch rotors and large calipers really easy to make a u-turn really smooth 
another thing that's great about it is that you have options. If you want to touch the screen, you can use the touch screen. If you want to use that direct drive controller, you can use that as well. You have the controls up top for your um, sunroof and everything, but very, very nicely set up and very smooth. Would I like to have ventilated seats right now? Yes. Would I like the seats to be electric assist? Yes, those would be zonks that I would point out. But other than that, a very tidy package and I'm glad to see them add so much horsepower. How many times do we hear companies adding five, 10, 15 more horsepower? 73 more horsepower is nothing to laugh about. That's for sure. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get back to Furman Mini. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another wonderful day with this Mini at Furman Mini. I definitely gotta thank Derek and the rest of the crew here. So accommodating to get the latest. This is a 2020 model, all new, just for you for the 60th anniversary. Should you get one of these? You know what? I think it's great to have options and I think it's great that Mini is trying to build a vehicle for the enthusiasts. Overall, their lineup is for car enthusiasts, but this one with the all-wheel drive, with the extra horsepower, it was a ton of fun and really something that you could go do a track day or an autocross event. But if it's stuff like this that you wanna see on Randy's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you are new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, takes you right to Spreadshirt. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee. Even though his muscles are bigger than this mini, he still had a blast riding with me in it. So wish him luck for his future endeavors, powerlifting around the world, even in Antarctica. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.